Stepping off a plane in Israel in what is his last international tour as U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo reasserting changes to many of the longstanding U.S. policies under Donald Trump's four-year term, including the recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. It's great to be back. In Jerusalem, as always, the rightful capital of the Jewish homeland. Standing alongside the Prime Minister of Israel and the Foreign Minister of Bahrain, he hailed a series of U.S. brokered accords between Israel and a number of Arab nations. These agreements also tell malign actors like the Islamic Republic of Iran uh, that their influence in the region is waning. I want to thank President Trump, Secretary Pompeo, for their leadership and vision in advancing this historic peace. But Pompeo's visit isn't just eliciting praise. It's also sparking international controversy and outrage from the Palestinians, with a planned visit to a winery on an Israeli settlement. Although the visit has not been officially confirmed, it would be a first for a top American diplomat and a break from a decades-old policy regarding Israeli settlements in the West Bank. Most of the international community views them as a violation of international law. Pompeo's visit is unprecedented. It makes him participant in a war crime. Pompeo may also make a controversial visit to the Golan Heights. The Trump White House has recognized Israel's annexation of the region. Pompeo's visits could mobilize support from evangelical Christians and other supporters of Israel as he plans a post-Trump political career. He's said to be one of a few top Republicans considering a run for the White House in 2024.